eating all my cookies, man. God. Yo, yo, no way. No way. We did it. We have. Ah! Don't flip, flip. Quick, eat the bones, eat the bones. We did it. Yeah. We didn't die that time. Look at the speed on this wall. Run. Three, two, one. Woo! Yo, that is insane. God. Okay, now we're just looking at my head. What? I got stuck. I got stuck. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Anyway, stream here to show you how you can upgrade wolves like this adorable little pup pup here behind me in your very own Minecraft world. Now, little does my friend over here know he is about to become bigger, stronger, and mightier with quadruple the health of your average wolf. Oh, by the way, he'll also jump three times higher and run two times faster. Not to mention, we're going to be able to ride him like a horse and dye him any color you can imagine. How does that sound, Mr. Wolf Wolf? <coughs> I'm gonna take that as it sounds fantastic. <coughs> Wait, what was that, Mr. Wolf Wolf? You say the viewers should like the video because it's gonna be that awesome? Well, I 100% agree with you, Mr. Wolf Wolf. Guys, if you want to do what Mr. Wolf Wolf says, drop a like down below. We're going for 10,000 likes. You know what? If you guys love wolves, drop a like right now. And if you don't leave a like, that means you don't like wolves. And well, all wolves everywhere will know and you will have very bad luck and they will always attack you. So guys, you should definitely go leave a like right now. And of course, as always, make sure to slap that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to ling ding ding to never miss an upload like this one so you get the coolest tips and tricks before any of your friends do so you can show off to them with all of these epic things like you know getting upgraded wolves because that's pretty impressive but that's enough of me talking guys let me show you how to do this now there are actually two ways to do this the main one involving everyone's crisp and crunchy favorite snack le cookie Yes, that is right, guys. We're not the only ones who love these sweet treats. Doggos also so happen to have a bit of a sweet tooth for them. And in very, very rare instances, when you feed a cookie to a dog, they will actually turn into a super buff upgraded wolf, which is what we're looking for in today's video. But you do not feed them in the ordinary way. So obviously, guys, with bones, you feed them just by clicking on them like this. But with cookies, you actually have to do it in a little bit of a different way. After all, this is a secret trick. However, it is very, very, and I repeat, very rare for this to actually happen. Check this out, guys. I'll put down a cookie. Ready? Three, two, one. Nothing happens, guys. As you can see, very, very rare. And we're just going to basically keep feeding our doggo cookies until, well, he turns into the super wolf. Now, I did mention there was another way to do this where you actually don't have to bother with all this cookie stuff and you can get one of these upgraded wolves literally straight away and you don't have to, you know, just wait for ages hoping you get one of them. But I won't be showing you that way till the end of today's video, so you're definitely going to want to stick around for that. Oh, come on, you're eating all my cookies, man. Yo, yo, no way. No way. We did it. We are... in a small detail that sometimes when you upgrade your wolf because they're so big and burly they just want to attack everything and they're very hostile so you actually need to feed them bones really really quickly in order to retame them we're gonna give it a go now here guys let's hope i don't die this time three two one okay whip out the bones go quick 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 eat the bones eat the bones <gasps> we did it yeah we did it guys we didn't die that time thank goodness and now we have ourselves our very own pet upgraded wolf. Look at this guy. Look at him. He is huge. He's got more muscles than I do right now. Actually, that's, it's really not hard to have more muscles than I do, guys. I'm very, not very buff. But this guy, he is definitely buff. And he now has 62.5 hearts, which if you guys did the math, well, that's almost quadruple the amount of health as a average wolf. But that isn't all you can do with this guy because you can also go ahead and ride him and die him. Now, which one should we do first? Hmm. You know what? I'm feeling like he's vibing with a different color. Let's go ahead and die him. And bam, I got colors. Lots and lots of different colored dyes here, guys. I'm gonna show you all the different colors you can dye your giant wolf. So let's go ahead. We'll, we'll see orange. You feeling orange? 
Oh, I don't think he's feeling orange, guys. What about red? Ooh, red. That is terrifying. That's like a blood wolf. If you guys want a really scary and terrifying pet wolf, blood wolf right here will scare anyone away. We also have the light blue dye. You feeling this? Sky blue. I actually quite like the look of this here, guys. Bit of a dark blue. Ooh, now we're vibing with the EY Street colors, guys. We are twinning. Let's go. How about purple? You feeling purple? Ooh, purple's pretty cool. What about cyan? Ooh, that's cool too. Literally, guys. Guys, there are so many color options. You could have tons of these giant upgraded wolves and just have them like in literally every color in the rainbow. That would be flipping awesome. How about magenta? Mm, I don't think he's really feeling the magenta right there, guys. We also got the lime. Ooh. If we went with the dark green, he could even blend in with the surroundings like a camo dog. And then, of course, we have yellow as well. Now, if the whole rainbow wolf thing just really isn't your style, then you can return your wolf back to his original color just by using white dye. Blammo! And now my small pup pup is back to normal. Or should I say, big pup pup. Because this boy just ain't small at all. But now that I've shown you how you can go ahead and dye all of these wonderful doggos, I want to show you how you can ride them. Now, there are actually two types of upgraded wolves for you to ride. The first is the one we've got right in front of us who doesn't have a collar around his, um, what do you call this area? The shoulders? I don't know. Do you call them shoulders on dogs? Mr. Dog, can you enlighten me? Are they shoulders? <laughs> He says no, but he didn't tell me what they are, so I, I still have no idea what this area of the dog is called. So for this type of upgraded wolf, he will actually go ahead and follow you around everywhere like so. Look at him come. Look at how fast this guy is, guys. Flip it, zoom. And if you go ahead and punch any mob just like the regular wolf, well, he'll go ahead and attack it. Watch this, ready? He's also got superhuman bite strength. And three, two, one, bang. And ready, boom, one, two, two bites. It takes him two bites to take out that llama. Like that is insane. Whereas a normal wolf would take, I don't know, three or four bites maybe. He has pretty much double the attack damage. However, because he doesn't have a collar, when you go ahead and ride him, as you can see, he has insane health, crazy hearts there, but you, you actually can't guide where he is going. He will just walk into walls and, and stuff. However, if you can get your hands on a collared version of the upgraded wolf, you will be able to guide where they go. Now, if I wanted one of those collared wolves, that would mean finding a ton of wolves and feeding them who knows how many cookies until I get the exact one I want because they are so rare. Luckily, there was that second method I mentioned at the start of the video, which allows you to just spawn in whatever upgraded wolf you want just like that. And you can even choose what type. However, I'm not going to show you that method just yet, guys. That will be at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around for that. But using that method, I'm going to bring in one of the colored wolves. Oh, look at these two guys. They're already best buds hanging out and everything. So as you can see, this is what your colored upgraded wolf will look like. While this one is a lot more wild looking, this one is just your standard wolf, but bigger pretty much. And that's why, because this one is more wild looking, you can't control where he's going to go. However, this one is domesticated and that's why he has the collar around his neck, which is what you are looking out for. And the difference is, if we go ahead and jump on this wolf's back, you can actually go ahead and open up your inventory just like you would when you're on a horse and you will get a menu that looks a little bit like this. Now, it's a bit deceptive because there is a saddle kind of icon there. So you would expect, oh, I put a saddle on my wolf and that will get him to go wherever I want him to go. But nah, wrong. Because you see, dogs do not like saddles. Say it with me. Dogs do not like saddles, all right? Don't put a dog saddle on him. Don't put a dog on a saddle. No, don't put a saddle on a dog. They don't like it. They don't want you to. However, if you go ahead and put a bone in there, you're actually holding a bone out for your dog to follow. And now, watch this, guys. I can go ahead and control wherever I want my wolf to go. How cool is this, guys? He's just as fast as a horse. In fact, he's faster than some horses. Like, look at the speed on this wolf. Just zoom, heck and zoom. And then obviously, guys, my other wolf is trying to keep up. <laughs> He's getting teleported because this wolf, this wolf actually has super speed. Now, just like horses, the upgraded wolves do have kind of like varying levels of speed. This one is actually particularly fast. But I did also mention they have super jumping power. So let's go ahead. Check this out, guys. We'll go ahead. We can actually charge up a jump just like you would with a horse. So if we go ahead and come here, you'll see in my XP bar, I can charge up a jump and boom, look at how high I can jump. Wait, we need to get out of the water here, guys. Come on, get me out of the water. 
If we actually come up to like a mountain surface here, guys, look at how high I can jump. We'll charge it up and boom, I literally jumped like half the mountain there. That is insane. Like I just, my mind is blowing up right now. It is crazy. Ready? We'll come over here. We'll come to this. Do you reckon I can make this jump? Surely. I reckon I could make this jump right here, guys. Let's give it a go. Three, two, one. And up. Oh, no. Three, two, one. Woo! Yo, that is insane. Guys. Okay. Now we're just looking at my head. What? I got stuck. I got stuck. Getting a bigger companion is great. There is one da downside, however, to having your colored wolf. You won't be able to dye them fully like you can dye these wolves over here. You're only able to dye their colors just like you would with normal wolves. But anyway, guys, here are our two types of upgraded wolf. I'm sure you all want to know what is the second method to spawning these in so you can actually go ahead and just get whatever one you want. Because as I said, using the cookie method is extremely rare and it might never work for you. That's how rare it is. So let me go ahead and show you this second method. Step one, open up your pause menu. Step two, go ahead and save and quit from your world. Step three, you wanna go ahead, come to your world and click the little pencil icon on the right side. Now, while you can go through the cookie feeding method, it is so extremely rare. I'm even surprised we got it as soon as we did. So if you don't wanna, you know, wait for that and leave it all up to chance, you can actually get an add-on that will just add a spawn egg for those upgraded wolves into the game. So you can just spawn them straight away like I did earlier. And basically what you need to do is come to here to behavior packs and you want to go to my packs. Now you should see this thing here that says colorful mutant wolves behavior pack. If you don't see that, don't stress guys. All you need to do is click the link in the description below and download this behavior pack. You click on it, click activate, and it'll bring up turn off achievements. You want to click continue and then go ahead and click play on your world. And we will go ahead and load in. So now if we go ahead and switch into creative mode here, guys, we can actually grab a spawn egg for a wolf. And all we need to do is chuck this bad boy down and kaboom. Look at that. You can just spawn in mutant wolves like that. And you can spawn in as many as you like and get all the different variations, the wild ones. This one here, I believe is one of the colored ones. I don't know. We, we can only really find out once we go ahead and tame them here, guys. So let's go ahead. Tame, 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 tame. Did we get one with the color? I think, yes, there is a color there, guys. I just got a white color instead of the usual red one. So as I didn't, as I was going to show you earlier, guys, you can dye the colors of these wolves, just like, you know, the regular wolves as well. But you can go ahead and spawn in as many mutant wolves as you like, getting all the different variations without having to do the whole cooking method. But it's up to you guys what you want to do with your world. But anyway, guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. If you did learn something new about wolves and you love these new upgraded wolves, drop a like down below. Remember 10,000 likes. As always, guys, subscribe for more epic Minecraft tips and tricks like this one. And, uh... Thanks for joining me. I've loved having you here, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, AY Stream out.